This video is not for my vegetarian viewers. Hello there, welcome back. Already you're probably asking yourself two questions. First one, why is he standing next to a big barbecue? Well, because I'm going to be cooking something. And the second question you may be asking is, if he's going to be barbecuing, why isn't he wearing shorts and a t-shirt? Why has he got a goose down jacket on? Well, although it's sunny and it looks like a beautiful day out there, it's only about two degrees Celsius. So it's very, very cold. Awesome. Right, a couple of weeks ago, I was contacted by somebody from Grill Masters Club, which is something that I've never heard of before. Now, I'm not a grill master at all. Most of the time, I forget about things when I've got them in here and I burn them. I'm going to try not to do that today, because I know I'll get accused of being a caveman if I burn it too much. Basically, we've got an information sheet with a recipe or two on there. And in the box, we've got four products, and they're all from the same company, and that's Suckle Busters of Texas, USA. Firstly, we've got a chili seasoning mix to make a chili, and I know Texans love their chili. Second, we've got a hog rub, which is basically a rub that you put in the meat for pork. Oh, in this one, sea salt, sugar, brown sugar, chili peppers and spices. That sounds lovely, but at the moment, I don't have any pork. I've only got beef, so I'm going to leave that one. Now, we've got another rub here, which is SPG rub. Now, basically, this one is salt, black pepper, garlic, sugar, and spices. I'm going to give this one a sniff. It's between mild and medium on the heat scale. Right, I shouldn't have shaken. I shouldn't have shaken that before I sniffed it. So I'm just got a cloud of it up my nose. Actually, it tastes quite nice up my nose, but I wouldn't do that again. That smells nice. And last but not least, we've got a fairly big bottle of something called light, sweet, smoky peach barbecue sauce. That sounds absolutely divine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cook two steaks. I'm going to use the steak rub on one of them, and I'm going to cook the other one without any rub on whatsoever, until it's about three quarters of the way through the cooking, and then I'm going to put some of this on. Hopefully that'll char it and brown it off, and I'll compare the two steaks and I'll let you know what I think of them. It's becoming difficult to talk now, because as I'm looking at this, and it's getting nearer dinner time, I'm ridiculously hungry. <laughs> Got two steaks, and the first one we're going to do will be the one without any rub on at all. I'm just going to coat it with a little bit of olive oil. And get that lashed on the grill. Next one's also going to have a little bit of olive oil on, just to prevent it sticking to the grill. And I'm going to score this one up and then rub it. Now this stuff that I've just put on the unseasoned steak smells absolutely lovely. It smells quite similar to our um, brown sauce, our HP sauce in the UK, but it's a totally different colour. It definitely has a bit more of like a fruity tang, a less spicy but a more fruity tang to it. 
So I'm really interested to see what this is like. Looks about ready. Most of you will probably say that it looks burnt, but I don't like things medium rare or rare. I like them well done. So the first one we're going to try, unseasoned steak with that sweet barbecue sauce dip on it. That's smoky, it's sweet, it's fruity, and it really does lift the flavour of that steak. Yep, I want some more of that. I'm going to put some on the plate and use it to dip. It's just really, really nice. <laughs> really nice. Before I accepted the offer of getting one of these Grillmaster Club boxes, I spoke to a friend of mine who goes over to the USA quite a lot. And he was saying that nobody does barbecues like the Texans. Uh, he's saying that, I'm not saying that. So people in Australia, please don't get offended. I know you like your barbies as well. But all this gear, apart from the steak obviously, is Texan. And it makes me want to go to America. <laughs> it does. I've never been. But I want to go now. That was incredible. I don't know how the one that's been seasoned is going to compare to that. I hope it lives up to this one. Because I would hate to have eaten the nicest one first. I can't see how one could get better than that. Honestly, I'm not kidding. Absolutely incredible. Let's get the seasoned one out now. Right, so this one has just had the rub. This one is entirely different. I might have put a little bit too much on, so it's gone like a bit of a crust on that back end. And I might have cooked it a little bit too long as well because it's slightly drier than that other steak. I think that dipping sauce that was put on near the end helped to keep a lot of the moisture in the steak. But although it's different, it still tastes absolutely divine. <laughs> I'm going to mix the two. That tastes awesome by itself, but I've shipped it into the plate that I used with the dip, and I'm going to try it with the dip. Two really beautiful tasting things surely can't make one awful taste. You've got the saltiness and the heat of the rub, and you've got the sweetness of the dip, which is adding the moisture. I don't know why I never normally use rubs or dips or anything when I cook steak. I've been eating it in such a boring way. I lived in a part of the world where we didn't get rain every other day. I don't think I would have a cooker in the house. I'll do it all on there. Now I've still got the pork rub and the chilli mix to test. But I can already say that this is the most enjoyable video that I have ever made. That stuff is just absolutely... Well, I don't know. I was eating two steaks as if they were absolutely nothing. Powered them down. I think I might have put a little bit too much rub on here. I didn't read the instructions. It says it's 34 servings. And I was just lashing it on, so it's actually left quite a fiery taste in my mouth. But it's, but it's a nice taste. Oh dear, I've used about a fifth of the bottle. So I've overdone it by a factor of about five on there, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's even six. But that was very, very nice. This dipping sauce is absolutely lovely. I don't know whether we can get something similar in the UK, but once this is gone, I'm going to be seeking out something similar. Because I never normally get barbecue sauce 
because in our country it's just like over processed crap it's absolutely horrible it's the, it's the equivalent of like red sauce but in like a sticky brown form this it just has everything balanced really really nicely now that's two of the four products that were inside that box tested I'm gonna call it a day for this video already I can say that I recommend this box even if those two things taste absolutely horrible I would buy these two things if these were available in this country I would definitely buy these for when I'm cooking steak so in the next video we're going to be using the pork rub which is similar to this beef rub except it's meant to have like a sweeter sort of a flavor because it's got sugar in so it should get nicely caramelized on the outside and the other thing is the chili mix so I think I'll cook chili for my whole family and I'll see what they think so check out part two thanks very much for watching part one if you want to check out Grill Master Club, I shall put the link to their website in the video description. Thanks for watching. See you next time. still here watching this and if there's anybody from Texas I just want to say you absolutely have it going on.